Today I'm going to talk about how ACS and CPS investigators deal with injuries to children. Your child may have fallen off the monkey bars at the playground. You are concerned, so you bring your child to a doctor or to the hospital. The doctor and hospital personnel may feel your child was not properly being supervised when the injury took place. Thereafter, they file a report with CPS or ACS. Injuries are often part of growing up for a child. However, there are injuries that can be misinterpreted and create significant problems for parents and subject them to ACS or CPS investigations for child neglect, child maltreatment, or child abuse. So now a CPS or ACS investigator shows up at your house. Be careful. Your words could be misinterpreted. The investigator may reach a conclusion that you did not properly supervise your child. This can lead to you being accused of lack of guardianship. Now, lack of guardianship is an extremely broad category. Be careful. Anything you say to the CPS or ACS investigator whether be misinterpreted or interpreted correctly, can be used against you. This is CPS and ACS defense lawyer Elliot Schlissel signing off.